Okay, this is a quick little review from two trail cameras that I bought off Amazon. This one was like 40 bucks. I think this one was 50 bucks. This one is the Campart trail camera, and this one's the Victor trail camera. Not sure what the prices are now. Um, they both have their uh, pros and cons, I think. If I had a preference, I'd pick this one right here. It's definitely a lot smaller. I'll kind of go over some pros and cons real fast. And if you have any questions at the end, you can let me know. Um, so first off, like I said, this one is a little bit cheaper than this one. Um, the thing I like about this one overall is its size. It's significantly smaller. And you can see it's about half the size in every way. Um, it uses less batteries. This one only uses four batteries right there versus the other one has eight batteries that it uses. Um, it does have a longer battery life, which is pretty good. This one lasted about uh, three to four weeks, and this one lasted um, about a month to six weeks, kind of depending on weather, how many pictures it was taken. Um, this little one, it has different um, settings on there, so you can make it so it's really sensitive. So if um, you're looking for little things, it'll find a lot better. It's got a medium sensitivity and a low sensitivity. Um, this one only has one setting, um, and it takes pictures of everything, anything that moves, grass that blows in the wind, um, bugs that fly by, pretty much anything you can think of, it takes pictures of it. This one, I have it on the low setting because I got some grass, and it still took a lot of false um, pictures. Out of 100 pictures, I had bait set up, so I know I had deer coming in, I'd probably get 10 to 15 pictures and videos of deer, um, and the other 85 were just of things blowing by. Sometimes it wasn't even anything. I'd put it on and the day would be calm and must have saw a bug or something. This one, out of 100 pictures, would probably be 30 deer and then 70 uh, false pictures. Like I said, I'm, I'm in the grass. It would be way different, I think, if you had it just sitting at your house um, as a security camera or if you're in the trees. Um, just things that aren't moving. It, this They're both very sensitive to movement. Um, other things... Um, I like about this one, um, like I said, the batteries are good, and um, and when I'm walking by, this one is a lot harder to pick out versus this one. They're both camouflage, but just because this one's size, it was significantly harder to pick out than this one. This one stuck out like a sore thumb. Um, the things I do like about this one, however, are the screen. Is The screen is significantly bigger, so if we open it up. Here, let me open up the other one real fast. Um, so it's got, here's a screen versus the Cam Park screen, so it's twice the size. Um, kind of hard to see there. Um, way easier to see when you're out in the um, hills, out in the um, sun. A lot easier to see on this one than it is on this one. Also, the other thing I like is down at the bottom of your switch. This one actually has a switch that protrudes out a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Whereas this one, it has a little teeny tiny um, switch down here. It's kind of hard. Sometimes I wasn't even sure if I was pushing it or not. Um, they both have a set, so you can see pictures, set up your camera. Um, they both, as you can see, they turn on. This one always made noises too, which I didn't like too much. Every single time that you turn it on, it's making a noise. This one is not. You can turn it on and off. Um, so you can see there cameras a little bit. It looks like this one, just even my video, is taking quite a bit better picture. Uh, I think it's an all-around better picture video taker than this one. But the battery life and size, I, I wouldn't buy this other one, this Victor one. I'm going to go back onto Amazon and rate it as a 2 or a 3, I think. And this one will probably stay as a 4 or 5. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. They both take infrared pictures. Um, Side-by-side -side pictures are pretty comparable. I put them in opposite spots, and I take them and I put them back, and I switched them and put them in the other spot. And this one took better pictures. Um, I think it had a little quicker um, snap to it than this one. It seems like deer were walking away when it was taking the pictures, um, or they'd already been there for a while. Well, this one caught them right as they first came into the, into the picture and then got a better picture of them as they were leaving as well. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.